Hey guys, I'm putting out this video today and I made a mistake in it. I called the guy Frankie. His name was Jimmy Heidel. How I mixed it up, Frankie was his brother. He was killed later on when I was gone with my crew. Huck was involved. Frankie Fab, I believe, was involved and a few other guys. So I got the names mixed up a little bit. And uh, basically, that's what it is. The guy in the video I'm talking about, I call him Frankie, but his name is Jimmy Idell. Frankie's his brother who got killed a while later. So I wanted you to know that before you listen to the video and uh, catch my little mistake. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the video. If you like it, press like, subscribe all the time. And uh, adios, motherfuckers. Hey, guys. I'm going to give you a pretty good story today. I think uh, you're going to be surprised. There was a shooting of gas pipe. And there's a whole story of why it happened. So I'm going to begin with the story, and I'll get to the shooting later. Years ago, Angelo Ruggiero John wasn't a captain, made guy. Angelo was a made guy. But Angelo was accused of being a rat. They didn't know what happened or who he ratted on, but this came from the Gambino family. And, well, it actually came from the Lucchese family to the Gambino family. And there was a big investigation about it. There was no proof that he was a rat. So the whole thing just kind of petered out and went away. Where it came from was gas pipe back then had supposedly a connection with cops or feds or whatever. And the story went from him to the boss who was Tony Ducks at that time. And it went over to Paul Castellano. After Paul was taken out and John Gotti was made the boss, that story never went out of Angelo's mind. He knew that Gas Pipe was the guy who made this story up or brought it to light or whatever it was. So he talked to John Gotti and he wanted to get even. So John gave him the nod, go ahead. And Angelo Ruggiero went to a guy, Mickey Boy Paradiso, tough guy. He wasn't a captain at that time. He was a made guy, and he had a small little crew of rough guys around him. They got the hit to take out gas pipe. They went to a place where he was normally go. He pulled in there, I believe, with a daughter. He caught the move as it was happening, just before he was shot. He got out, tried to run away, made his daughter run the other way. They didn't go after the daughter. They went after him. They shot him a few times, but he got away. He survived the hit. No one knew who did what, but Gas Pipe was relentless, working on getting even for who shot him. There was a guy named, I believe his name was Frankie Heidel. He was one of the shooters for Mickey Boy. Gas Pipe got in touch with these cops. There's going to make a movie about them. Mob cops. They were dirty cops. He hired them to pick this kid up, Frankie Ardell. The cops did pick him up. 
They told him he was under arrest. The kid didn't realize it. He got cuffed. They put him in. They didn't take him to a police station. They took him to a garage. And they gave him over to gas pipe. Gas pipe took him in a house, in a basement, tied him to a chair, and questioned him. So Frankie Heidel told Gas Pipe about Mickey Boy Paradiso and all the other guys who were on the hit with him. He questioned him further and said, who told Mickey Boy to do this hit? He says, I believe the order came from Angelo Ruggiero. They asked him, did it also come from John Gotti? The kid didn't know. He says, I don't know for sure. If John was involved, I didn't hear his name mentioned, but it was Angelo Ruggiero who gave Mickey Boy the order. They got in touch with Jimmy Brown, Joe Piney, and Joe Butch. All of them were captains in the family. They picked them up and brought them to this basement with this kid. Gas pipe told this kid, he wasn't tortured, he wasn't hurt. He was tied up in a chair. He said, tell them what you told me. He repeated the whole conversation about what he thought, what the orders he got, the names who were involved, Angelo Ruggiero. Jimmy Brown, Joe Butch, and Joe Piney were probably so fucking scared, they couldn't wait to get the fuck out of there. They didn't question the kid. They didn't do anything. They heard the story right out of the kid's mouth. He wasn't tortured, he wasn't bloody. And they left. Me and John came back. They, all three of them, went to John and told him the story. John called me in, and then I heard the story. I talked to them a little bit myself, and I said, was the kid tortured? Not that we could see, no. And he told you this whole story, yeah. That kid was with us. Why didn't you walk out with him? They had him tied up, I mean, what do, you, what do you want us to do? Say, if this kid did it, and whoever did it, there's proof to it, we will kill them. They belong to us, not gas pipe. You have any idea what the fuck they must have did to this kid after you guys walked out? You think that's manly what you did? John, Sammy, calm down. I'm calm. But they left that kid there. John made a decision to tell Mickey Boy they know what happened. Take off. He sent me and Gene Gotti to go see Mickey Boy. I knew Mickey Boy a long time. He is a tough guy. We went there. We rang his bell. He came out. He saw us. He came down the stairs. He came outside. And we told him. They know. You better go on the lamp. They got this kid. Frankie Idell, he's probably dead by now, which he was. He was brutally tortured and killed. We found that out later. <sighs> Mickey Boy says, I'm ready for them. What do you mean? I'm ready for anybody who comes. We think you should take off. 
John will talk, we'll investigate it, we'll say the kid lied or something, we'll find out what's going on. How could you be ready? They're going to send a squad for you, bro. He picked up his shirt and he showed me a gun. Me and Jeannie. So I told you I'm ready. Gene looked at him and I said, you were coming to meet me and Jeannie. Who's that gun for? It's for you, you and Jeannie. If you came here for the wrong reasons, I'll kill the two of you. We came here to save your life and you have that gun for us. But well, we didn't come here to kill you. Can we walk away? Go ahead. And we walked away. We went back to Queens, sat with John. We told him what happened. John said he had, he had a fucking gun on him to meet you guys? Yeah. John immediately put a contract on him to kill him. Now our family was going to kill him. And John was going to send word to Gas Pipe. If you find him, kill him. Kill anybody who was involved. He defended Angelo, saying Angelo is not involved. Angelo denied giving the order to Mickey Boy. I think both of them are lying. Angelo definitely was lying. I believe John was lying, too. He must have known about this whole thing right from the beginning. Years later, I was in prison and a guy came in there, Jewish guy. I was with the guy, John Fogarty. You heard about him on a, another video I did. And this Jewish guy came in to the unit and uh, Fogarty came up to my room. I forget the guy's name, Bear, something bear they would call him. Looked like a fucking bear. And uh, he said, this is one of the shooters with gas pipe. And he's in with us. Really. I went down, I met him. It was a witness unit. He was cooperating, Fogarty cooperated, I cooperated. We're all in the same unit. Hey, Ben, how are you? He told me the story, and he said, yes. The order came from Angelo to Mickey Boy. I took off after that kid got killed. Uh, and John knew. And Mickey Boy told me that it, this was coming right from the top. I said, bro, you... You went after the guy when he's with his daughter? You're going to shoot him when he's with his daughter? Well, Sam, it's just, you know, we didn't hurt her. Yeah. All right. I said, you know, I just found out gas pipe flipped, and they're sending him to this unit. Are you okay with that? Now, it wasn't true. Gas pipe did flip, but he wasn't coming to that unit. He turned white. He used to play chess with Fogarty. And one day I'm up on the rail. I'm standing on the rail talking to one or two guys. And he's playing chess with Fogarty. Boom. Turned white. Killed over. Dead as a fucking door now. Had a heart attack. I said, Fogarty, what'd you do? He said, I didn't do nothing, bro. He fucking died of a heart attack. What are you blaming me for? I said, I'm not blaming you. But that's the story of a crew in our family who did something, shooting a guy, I believe Gas Pipe was an underboss or the guns he had a family at that time, off the record, sneak move, that came back to haunt us in a big way. 
and Jimmy Brown, Joe Piney, and Joe Butch. I thought leaving that kid, not even asking for him, was cowardly. I would have said, all right, I heard the story. I would have talked to Gas Pipe on the side. He belongs to us. If he did this, we'll kill him. But we're not allowing you. I can't allow you to kill him. Let this kid walk out with me. Maybe a gas pipe would have did it. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. But not even to ask for this fucking kid, the young kid you sent on a hit, did what he was supposed to do for you guys, for our family. And you don't even try to get him out of this fucking weird position he was in. So a lot of guys wanted to know about gas pipe. Some guys asked about the shooting. That's about the whole story of the shooting. If you like this video, press like, subscribe always. You could hear this on Patreon without commercials, without ads. And uh, I'm just going to sign off with my normal adios, amigo.